Good morning, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. It is Thursday morning, and for the first time in like two or three weeks, I actually remembered that it's Thursday morning, and so it's time for me to start a new episode. Um, it's hell day. <sighs> but bringing you up to speed since the last episode, which I'll post up here, and which was only a few hours ago for me, um, my son had a very, very hard time falling asleep last night. He had a hard time falling asleep the night before as well. But the night before, he allowed me to um, go into his room and like try to soothe him, read him a story, um, sing some songs, lay down with him until he was like chill, the whole thing, right? As usual. But last night was different. Last night, he wanted me the hell out of his room now. Didn't want daddy either. He didn't want a story. He didn't want a song. Um, it, he was just like mad. And I don't know if he was mad at me or um, if he was just otherwise angry or frustrated or anxious and couldn't express it or didn't know how to express it. But it made for a very long night. Um, he slept through the night once he finally fell asleep at like 12.30. But... Um, I don't know how much rest he actually got. And I just wish I knew what was going on so that I could help him feel better because sleep is so important. And if he's having anxiety around bedtime, <laughs> I've had anxiety around bedtime since literally before I can remember. I don't wish that on anybody. And it becomes even more complicated when he and I can't like thoroughly communicate and have a conversation about what's going on. So I'm really, really hoping that it's something else and not that, but whatever it is, I'm not sure how to help. So we're having a little bit, or I'm having a little bit of a struggle with that right now, and certainly he must be as well. But we have loads to do today, and I've actually, maybe it's my own anxiety, I don't know. You guys know that I tend to keep myself as busy as I possibly can, um, just to keep my mind from wandering. But this morning in particular, I've been extremely productive. I've gotten a jump on, so, okay. A little glimpse into my mind, the way that I work. I have my to-do list every day. Every day, detailed, legit, down to the minute. Um, and I have it broken up into morning, day, evening. Actually, there's a fourth one for nighttime, but that's like bedtime things, whatever. Point is that it's pretty much, it's kind of like my version of time blocking, where these are the things that must happen now. And if I finish all these things before time is up, then cool, I have free time. But no matter what happens at this hour, this new to-do list starts. And now I have this time to finish these things and so on and so on. Um, I've already, I still have morning things to do, but I've already scratched off like two of the seven or eight things that I had on my daytime list. And I've even crossed off one of the things on tomorrow's daytime list. So I'm like busy, busy, busy this morning, but I still have time to do everything. So I think I'm just like, I don't know, I'm feeling superhuman today. Not necessarily good, but I'm feeling like, might not be good actually. <laughs> um, actually speaking of, I've been listening to nonstop AFI, Taking Back Sunday, Coheed and Cambria, All American Rejects, um, all of my, my feel good, soul nourishing emo music since last night. And that usually means that I'm going through something or I'm about to go through something and my brain subconsciously is desperately trying to pump me full of endorphins so that I am ready to take on the inevitable plunge that I'm about to go through. And I feel it, I feel like it's it's right on the cusp. I'm about to go through some, some stuff mentally. Um, and it's, it hasn't quite hit me yet, but um, thank you brain for trying to like pad up the, the stores there and make it a little easier for me to to get through. But yeah, I'm just, I'm filled with, I don't feel bad. That's the thing. And I don't know if it's a relatable thing, depending on if you also have um, 
My official diagnosis is generalized anxiety disorder and bipolar 2. Um, I don't know if the bipolar 2 really sticks, if it's just something where since I was diagnosed 20 years ago, um, they didn't have a proper diagnosis or like a language for what I was going through and so bipolar 2 is what made sense at the time. Um, but I definitely do have the swings of mania and depression along with the generalized anxiety disorder, so maybe. Point is, um, I had a point. I'm not sure what it was, but I'm, I'm definitely feeling some sort of a way and it's not necessarily a bad feeling, but it's a feeling of something's coming and my brain may or may not know what that something is because it's not an external thing that's happening, it's an internal thing that's gearing up to happen, but whatever it is, my whole physical being is like feeling like I'm getting ready to fight something and I don't know what it is that I'm fighting. But yeah, what I was that's where I was going with it is that I don't know if that's something relatable to other people that have similar diagnoses or similar um, experiences. But you guys know that I try to be as authentic and transparent as I can be with my mental situations, with my, my mental health. I was gonna say my mental issues, but we don't need to call them that. Um, yeah, I try to be as transparent as I can be with my mental health because I feel like it's so stigmatized and 80% of the issues that happen around mental health is the fact that people don't feel like they can talk about it with anybody, whether it's a professional or a family member or a friend or even a stranger on the street. Um, you should be able to express what you're going through, whether it's a good thing, a bad thing, or just something you're going through. And 80% of the time, that helps you feel better. That could sometimes even be the difference between life and death is being able to express what's going on in your head without feeling like you're gonna be judged by whoever's listening to you. Who knows, somebody watching this might be judging me. That's your prerogative. I, <laughs> your judgment is not gonna change what's going on up here one way or the other. But um, if it helps one person, if one person watching goes, man, um, I go through the same thing, or even if you don't, even if you go through something completely different in your head, maybe you'll go, oh, um, she's talking about it and she's she seems okay with it and maybe I could talk about my stuff too and I will feel okay about it also. Then okay, then great. Then I did my job in sharing and I feel good about the fact that I have shared. So all of that notwithstanding, it is Thursday. We have three therapies scheduled plus the multitude of things on my day list, evening, etc. But I feel good about how that's gonna go. Thank you, phone, for cutting me off before I rambled even more. So, the phone is reminding me that I have something else to do right now, so I will talk to you guys soon. Happy Thursday. Happy Friday! I decided to go ahead and just start today's vlog here, today's vlogging as it were, because I literally just finished recording my planner video for the week, and so I already have the light and everything set up, so I was like, let's do it. We haven't vlogged yet today. Um, it's May 20th, which means that today makes six months since we moved in, and I regularly, like probably two or three times a week, just sit on the couch and look around and say to my husband, you know, I really love our house. Um, we could definitely use more space and there's a lot of things about it that are not ideally set up for our family, you know, realistically. But I do feel extremely calm and at peace here. I feel like we're supposed to be here, at least for now. Um, there's just a, a really calm energy about being here and it just, it feels like home. It feels like we're home. And so it simultaneously feels like it's not even possible that we've been here six whole months because 
just yesterday we were running around trying to figure out how we were going to fit everything into the moving van and it you know at the same time it feels like we've been here forever so um in the spirit of that there's a few little projects <laughs> that we're going to do this weekend um you know and like i said everything's not exactly where we want like we still need to put shelves in here i'm sure every time you guys watch me record in here let me tilt you for a second you see that wall that's full of like holes and stuff that's because my husband tried to put shelving up for me and it just didn't work out so now that he has a better drill he's gonna attempt again at some point we also really really love the color of the paint in this room and we'd love to match it but we also know that it's probably not going to be an exact match because it'd be new paint you know with old walls so if anything we might have to paint either the entire wall the same color and hope that it matches the rest of the room or we've toyed with the idea of an accent wall but i just don't know what would go with this color which is like a actually it's pretty much how it appears on camera it's like a, a khaki a khaki olive drab color but we really really like it so i don't know we're still toying around with that um i have a giant dry erase calendar that i bought online i didn't realize how big it was so it's gonna have to go probably above the drum kit which i didn't want to have to do because it's like that's the music area and this is the therapy area but it is what it is if i put it where i originally planned then we won't have room for shelves so there's that um hubby's also going to change the shower head in our bathroom this weekend because we changed to the one in my son's bathroom when we first moved in and it is so nice <laughs> so i bought the exact same one so we could change the one in our room now um just a bunch of other little things but yeah it's like there's always something to do there's always some change we need to make um, our water washing machine might be leaking water now. So it's like, there's, there's always something. The AC is still not work, whatever. But it just feels right being here. It feels really good to be here. So happy six month anniversary to us, I guess. <sighs> We've got one therapy scheduled today. As I mentioned, I already did my planner video. So I want to go ahead and edit that now while like, you know, while the iron is hot and while I still have some time, I have to make a couple phone calls because I've started processes earlier in the week in the last episode, but um, people were meant to get back to me on certain things. And of course, nobody has because nothing, your own thing is never as important to anybody else as it is to you. So it's up to you to follow up and remind people, hey, this is important, do it. Um, so now I have to go and do that because everybody that said they were gonna get back to me has not. And um, what else? Oh, I mentioned in that video, which this one's coming out after that, but I mentioned in that video that because we have a long weekend, not this weekend, but the, the one that follows, um, I might also take Friday off so that we have a four day weekend. I'm not sure, like I'm still thinking about it. I'm leaning more towards no, that I won't, but I, I am thinking about it because I'd love to take the, my kiddo back to the zoo, but going on a weekend is just nuts. And so I'm hoping that since everybody's off on Monday, they won't have the same idea as me and also take Friday off. Maybe we could take them to the zoo on Friday and it won't be so, so, so packed. Um, for all I know, school's out already and it's going to be packed regardless. I honestly don't know because since we're not involved in the school system whatsoever. I don't really keep track of, you know, days off or, or end of year or anything. So I guess I should look into that as well. Whatever, I've talked a lot. Happy Friday <laughs> and uh, whatever else happens today and for the rest of the weekend, I'll try my best to remember that I am a vlogger and I'll try to bring you guys along. Hey friends, happy Saturday afternoon, actually. Um, we all had a really crap night of sleep. Hubby decided it would be a nice idea to have our first candlelit dinner in our place um, to celebrate the six month anniversary of moving in. Um, but that meant we had to wait until after bedtime. 
<laughs> to have a very heavy steak dinner. So um, I had a really terrible night of sleep. He had a pretty bad night as well. Um, I had a hard time falling asleep. I had a hard time staying asleep. And when I did sleep, I had some pretty weird and not fun nightmares. So that sucks. Compounded by the fact that my son slept from about 11 until about 2. And then he didn't go back to sleep until 7.30, only to wake up at 9.30. So he spent most of the night awake. He got less, he got about five hours of sleep and they weren't even like all at once. So it's about 2.30 in the afternoon now and he is beat. And there's still many, many hours to go before bedtime. So <sighs> today's complicated. Tonight's gonna be complicated. Um, obviously our steak dinner had nothing to do with his, his um, bad night or, or otherwise um, it's just so happens that he also had a bad night of sleep but um that's what we're going through today on top of that I have today packed full of things to do because we're planning to go to my parents house tomorrow and whenever we make a plan like that to just like hang out I don't want to be hanging out whether it's here or there or wherever just thinking about all the things that I still have to do later on in the day or whatever. So I try to fit all of my to-dos in before so that the day of all there is to do is just bask in, you know, the company, the occasion, whatever. Um, but the fact that I had such a crap night of sleep, I woke up very tired, I woke up with a headache, etc making getting through my to-do list very difficult so far i'm still on track but it just feels like there's still so much to do and i have so little desire to do anything else that um at, right now actually as i'm speaking it's occurring to me that perhaps i need to just like start delegating tasks to other days and just not even worry about getting them done this weekend because ugh. I just, I can't, I can't, I, I mean, I can. And that's the thing that makes me feel like, come on, bro, but you can, you just don't feel like it. Like get up and do it, but I don't wanna, <laughs> I don't wanna. And I'm considering actually indulging the, I don't wanna, we'll see. But that's what's going on right now. That's bringing you up to speed. So let's see if I remember to pick up the camera in the rest of the day, cause I'm either gonna be too busy to remember or I'm gonna not be busy at all, and then I'm not just not gonna be bothered <laughs> to pick up the camera. But either way, happy Saturday. Hey pals, happy Sunday morning. We just finished watching the Barcelona Grand Prix because it was at 9 a.m. today. Um, I'm extremely tired. I don't remember the last time I was able to just go to sleep when I wanted and wake up when I wanted. Um, it's probably been at least a decade. Well, no, I lie. That that week that I was in quarantine at my parents' house, I pretty much got to go to sleep and wake up whenever I wanted. So that was like probably the one nice thing about quarantining. So we spent all day yesterday basically marathoning Stranger Things um, because season four is starting, I think, maybe this week, if not next week. And so I thought, what fun, let's rewatch all of Stranger Things. So we saw all of season one and like three or four episodes of season two yesterday. No regrets. Um, To-do list today is not super light, but manageable, I think. And we're actually about to get dressed right now to head out to my parents' house. I haven't had breakfast, neither has Hubs. Kiddo has eaten already. But um, the parents were going to make us lunch, so hopefully they're down to have an early lunch because we're hungry. <laughs> so um, I just didn't feel like cooking today. So yeah, that's, that's what's going on. We're going to get dressed now. We're going to head out and uh, let's see how the rest of the day unfolds. Yeah? <laughs> Happy ah. Sunday! My dad got me a beautiful rosemary bush since my propagation did not go very well. Um, I was gonna say great and well at the same time. Did not go well. So now I have a very nice, healthy plant so that I can rosemary it up for the foreseeable future. It is so hot out here today.
Hey there friends, it is Sunday, so I am wrapping up the vlog. We had a really, really nice time. We had a very chill weekend, um, and it was very productive. I, I want to make sure that I like, uh, you know, throw that in there and acknowledge that because part of me really feels like I could have been and maybe should have been more productive this weekend than I actually was. But when you look at it objectively, I actually got a lot of things done. I think that this just might have been a weekend where I planned too much. Like I over planned, I put too much on my plate and realistically, there was no way that I was gonna get that all done and still feel like, oh wow, that was a weekend. I feel refreshed, I feel ready for, for the week ahead. So it is what it is. We went to my parents' house, we were there for several hours and we had a very good time. I got a nice new little plant from my dad as you guys saw earlier. My husband surprised me with a mystery box of tea from my favorite brand, so I'm very excited about that. And um, ah, it's bedtime. Bedtime has been a mission the last week or so. My son has randomly decided that he's just, he doesn't want to go to bed. Um, he lets us dress him, but we're not allowed to sing bedtime songs or read stories or anything like we've done for the last 10 years of his life. He wants us to leave his room, but when we leave, he wants to come with us. So then we have to like explain like, buddy, it's bedtime. We're literally only going out there to wait for you. We want to go to sleep. We're only out there because we're waiting for you to pass out so that we could go pass out. Like there's nothing fun going on out there. You're not missing anything. It's literally just all of us waiting for you to go to sleep so that we could go to sleep. Um, he's not convinced. And now, right now for the first time, like there's like a whole routine, right? There's always been a whole bedtime routine and it's evolved throughout the years, but, but it's the routine. Um, part of the routine is that if he bathes or showers during the day, he uses a towel. But when we're going to go to bed, he uses his little robe. Like, he puts his robe on to come into his room to put on his PJs and whatnot. And that's always been part of the routine. Well, he just forbade me from coming into his room and getting the robe. Like, he's just like, no, the robe's not happening. It's like, it, it is though, because it's bedtime. And he was just really, really mad and very adamant that like, no, it is not bedtime. So I need to try to figure out some sort of like a clock that we can color code somehow. Like my husband's like, surely somebody has already invented something that is very, very visual and will tell him when it's bedtime without assuming or without um, pre-requiring that he knows to tell time or that he even understands the concept of day and night like surely someone has already thought of this and um i feel like this is one of those things that yeah probably somebody has thought of it but it's going to be very difficult to find and track down and so we might be better off trying to invent some sort of a system ourselves which obviously is just as complicated as it sounds but anyways I've chatted plenty. I'd love to know what you guys are up to, what you guys have been up to this week. I'm actually looking forward to this coming week because I did decide finally to take next Friday off. So we have a four day week and then a four day weekend that follows. So um, I'm looking forward to some chillness, but also plenty of time for some fun activities should they arise. Um, Monaco is next week for the Formula One race, which is like the biggest race of the year. So all good things. So again, I'd love to know what you guys did this weekend. I'd love to know what you're looking forward to this week. I uh, hope that everybody's doing well and safe. There's monkeypox out there now. We actually just got our first confirmed case in the county over, like not in our county, but in the county just north of us. <sighs> it never ends. Anyways, I want to thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, I hope that you will please give it a big thumbs up. I'd also love it if you would subscribe and click that notification bell because I post at least three times a week and I wouldn't want you to miss a minute. Thanks so much again for watching. Bye.